So before we get too deep into this mukbanging, I want to show you what we're going to start with in reference to making the sauce and to actually getting this crab boil jumping. Are you with me or not? some things. We got the Zatarain's shrimp and crab oil concentrate. We got this Louisiana Cajun seasoning. We got some Old Bay hot seasoning. Have you ever seen this? If so, put in the comments. You like it, you don't. This is going to be my first time trying it. Uh, black pepper, you know, it ain't nothing special. Peppercorn. Actually, I have to grind it. And um, lemon pepper seasoning. Paprika chili powder, check it, <laughs> red pepper crushed, garlic powder, red pepper cayenne, you know, you got to get all that in there, that goodness, some oregano, and then of course some smoked paprika. The one thing I do want that I'm missing is some ginger, but I'll be okay this time around. And then of course we got to have what's going in the bowl, right? Yeah, man. We've got some corn, and check that corn out. And it's just me, so it's not so much, but nonetheless, we're getting ready to get down. We got the crab legs, snow crab legs to be exact. We have the lobster tail. And while I'm going over this stuff, shout out to some two local great old school seafood markets that you need to know if you live here in Charlotte. We got on the West End representing you know, Beatty's Ford Road, we got on the West End, West End Seafood Market. And then if we travel a little ways down on Graham Street, we got Jim's Seafood Market. And both are out of this world. Now, the one thing I don't like is we're not going to really get fresh, fresh seafood here in the Charlotte area, but you will get it nonetheless. So I let this thaw out some and then I've got to clean this crab leg before I get started. But this lobster tail right here, bruh. Oh, yeah. And then we got some red potatoes. Like I said, we don't need much. It's just me. And we've got a, a half a pound of jumbo shrimp. We're going to tear that down. You hear me? And, of course, we got to throw in the pot the crab broil bag and some brown sugar. And as you can see, I got a lot of generic brands of stuff. That's one thing I don't believe in. It's being too expensive to cook something and, and cooking something on a budget. But at the end of the day, if you're a real cook, you know what I'm saying? That shit's going to be right, right? <laughs> okay, you know what I'm talking about. And I know them foodies gave me a shout out too. So let's get cooking. How about it? You can also find this uh, ginger, a pickle ginger, in any Asian section, um, Walmart and Target. So now that I've had an opportunity to devein, and if you didn't know what that means, that means taking out the rectal tract from the shrimp because you don't want that, that's bad, and kept the shell on. And then we have some onions because that definitely has to go in the actual pot with the crab. I was able to wash my crab off, you know, and you definitely want to get all the little white spots off. I left one on there, so that's what I'm talking about right there. And then wash my lobster. You don't want to put any meat in there. And if you can, um, squeeze a little lemon juice. It kills, you know, bacteria in the um, seafood. And uh, let's get to crab boiling, putting this meat in the pot. Now, here's a secret in case you're confused on how to cook all these different things that cook at different times. You just put them in at different times, right? So let's go through it right quick. It takes the longest to make the potatoes and the corn. So we put that in first about the 30 minutes. And then at about 15 minutes, since it's a small amount, if it was a bigger amount, then we'll, you know, adjust the time accordingly. But this is a claw, not even a full pound of crab, uh, snow crab legs. So we can put this in about 15 minutes. And then the lobster at 15 minutes as well maybe 10 i'm still kind of contemplating and um the shrimp as well at 10 let that cook and then bling, we'll be all done so i'm going to do the meats first and i'm going to put them in at the different intervals and we'll go from there but 
what the first thing we need to put in to this is the onions or it doesn't necessarily have to be the first thing but you can so we're going to toss the onions in there and then we're going to put these red potatoes in there as well and then we are going to put the zatarans crab bowl bag in there as well because we want the meat to be seasoned on the inside and the outside so we put that bag, right? That bag. And one thing I didn't show you that I have is the Himalayan salt to put in there as well as far as the actual sauce for this crab boil. So now we put the onions in there. We got the Old Bay bag in there. And one last thing I wanna add, and this will be the first time I've ever added it or used it, was this shrimp and boil concentrate. I'm not gonna put too much again. I'm not making that much. But this is going to help jazz it up with that Zatarain's bag. I'm going all the way in. You hear me? Can't wait till summer and spring when I fix these crab boils for everybody else. You ready? All right. Little seafooding. I am pouring it in here. Just a little cap full. Like I said, I'm not going to need much. And last but not least, we're going to throw this corn in here. We're ready for some corn. I like corn when it comes to crab. So I am going to use uh, at least two pieces. I may put in three. You know, I'm so greedy. I'm forgetting to tell you what else I have to put in there too. I have some crushed garlic. I have some Worcestershire sauce. I have some Himalayan pink salt. And of course, some CBD butter with a little bit of regular butter, about two cups, you know, just to even things out. Because, yes, we infuse shit over here. You know what I'm saying? So now it's been enough time where we can add the crab and the lobster, which I'm going to do right now. Let's go ahead and get this stuff in the pot. So, boom, that lobster, you see, it's coming along mighty fine, ain't it? That corn's jumping. Throw that lobster on in there. We don't have to be nice to the lobster. We get teared up. And then I'm just playing. We gotta be nice to the stuff. Man. Crab legs. Boom. Don't put it in the pot. Put it in the pot. And let's keep crab boiling. You with me? Ten minutes, and I'm ready to eat a crab boil. As well as I'm making my sauce. You ready for my sauce? One second. Here we go. Another wet ingredient and then I'll put in all the dry ingredients and go from there. This butter is jumping. I don't want it to go too much longer. So there's the butter. There's some onions and garlic. I poured in all at once, didn't it? Yeah, why not? It's going down all at once, isn't it? You have to excuse me. I'm trying to, to hold this camera and put this stuff in here. But you know what? We're going to make it do what it do. Why? Because that's the way we roll. So that was the, uh, the garlic and the onions. Now I'm putting in the Worcestershire sauce. And all of this is really to your taste, but measurement wise, that was about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And then I'm putting in all the dry ingredients all at once. And let's mix this sucker up because what happens is the sauce, and I'm so sorry about my camera movement. I'm gonna do better. When I get me an assistant, who gonna be my assistant when I need to do these YouTubes? That's the bigger question. But you have to make sure you stir this sauce down and allow it to get infused. That butter, you know the butter that's already in there, right? All right, so it's always wise after the fact. This is gonna boil down for a good um, and I got it on medium heat. I'm gonna let it uh, infuse, add some water. And I put this down to like um, uh, medium low and let that simmer for a few. Even when these uh, crab bowl stuff finishes, I'm still going to let this butter go down for a few, maybe 20 minutes or so so that it can really be infused. And then we're going to eat and talk. How you like that? I like it. Stay tuned. Didn't want to bore you with the pouring details, so I went ahead and did that thing. And you see here, now we got some seasoning on this bad boy. We ready to have a crab boil. So when I get down to eating, you'll know what I'm eating. 
and you won't be wondering where it is and what it's looking like. There it is. Bow, bow, bow. Up close and personal. Oh, yeah. You ready? Let's eat. Let's talk.